This is the N-Stray Elite Mega Cyclone Shock, uh, and there's two reasons why I haven't done this review sooner. First, for whatever reason, retailers in the Midwest don't know that this blaster exists. I checked Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, all the, all the major places where I usually find these on the shelf. And n not only did they not have them, and they had plenty of Magnuses or Magni or whatever you'd like to call them, plural, but there wasn't even a shelf spot for these, not even a sign that this blaster even existed. Um, so I was kind of surprised by that. I ended up picking it up on Amazon because I'd seen so many great reviews about the blaster and it just looked like a lot of fun. It, <laughs> reason number two, when I was trying to make this review the first time when I got it, I ended up making way too many innuendos and such and making myself feel uncomfortable about the review. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm married happily to a woman, and I was convinced after listening to the reviews that I did not swing that way, which is fine if you do or don't. It's not my place or anything, but yeah, it's, it's a substantial blaster. It feels good in my hands. All that stuff about having girth, <laughs> bad, bad, bad stuff to have in a review. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe that would have made a good blooper reel. Anyway, um, the blaster itself is, again, really substantial. Um, I have rather large hands, um, and even the uh, even like the the Magnus's handle comes down to about here maybe. Um, and I was afraid that this guard would come into come into contact with my hand uncomfortably. Nope, I am very happy with how this feels in my hands. Gosh, I'm doing it again. Here we go. Um, this priming handle is nice and huge, and I also like that not only do you prime it here, but I can rotate the barrel with it. Um, I found that the easiest way to load this thing, gosh, I still have how this thing fires. It's just got such oomph. Um, when I'm loading them, I load two from the sides here and then one there, and then I rotate it once and then two more and one there. Um, so it's really just a two-stage reloading process, nice and easy. Anyway, um, it does have a tack rail. Yay, everything has a tack rail. You'd probably never use one up here anyways. It looks just great without it. I mean, Mega Line and, and really a lot of the blasters recently have been making Trigun fans go crazy because they just look like cool, big, beefy, futuristic Western blasters, especially the revolver style. I mean, the, the power you get out of this thing is just, it's stupid fun. I've been having a ton of fun just shooting random stuff with this thing. I, I even went so far as to set up a bunch of uh, red solo cups, um, don't quote the song, and um, started, you know, doing, uh, trying to blast them all down with, uh, with one shot and had them all stacked and everything. Just, just, just to have an excuse to fire this thing at something. And that's the other thing is I kind of feel guilty about shooting this at a living human being. Um, usually, uh, Office Wars, uh, sneak into my manager's office and um, pull out a gun and shoot him or whatever, and it's fun. Not a gun, a blaster, sorry guys. Um, and I felt bad about doing it with this one because these darts, there's, it's, I mean, they're already mega darts, but I feel like the, the Cyclone Shock has a lot of oomph to it. Like, more so than a Centurion, than a Magnus, than the Big Shock. Um, it's got presence as a blaster in the same way that the power just kind of hits you. And it's not just when someone gets hit by, uh, by the dart from this blaster. When you shoot this, maybe it's because it's so front heavy, maybe because it's rather large. I mean, check this out. Here's, a, uh, here's my repainted, um, oh nice, that's going wrong again. Anyone else having that problem? Anyway, um, it's, it's literally, way, it's way wider than the sling fire, but it's almost as big as the core blaster itself here. So it's, I mean, it's so such a significant, it's, it's got so much presence to it that it's been just fun to use something that big. <laughs> oh man, more innuendos. Or maybe I'm just making this stuff up, maybe it's all in my head. Um, but yeah, it, it's a lot of fun, it gets great range, I haven't range tested it, I'm sure Random Shadow 9 has or will. I'm getting caught up with the rest of the world. Um, but yeah, if you haven't been able to find one on store shelves, like I had, go out of your way, go to Amazon or whatever, go find one. They are fun. Um, not to mention, I mean, just, just this huge revolver style blaster. N nothing really prepares you for how big just this chamber and this whole section is. 
Um, a lot of fun. I'd recommend getting one and shooting cups instead of people, unless you don't like the people. <laughs>